Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where today we've gotten some new leaked images that just might confirm the plot leak for The Rise of Skywalker that I've put on the channel. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. Welcome back to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on this video and any other video that you check out. And be sure to hit that notification bell, not once, but twice, so that you don't miss any of the Star Wars goodness coming for The Rise of Skywalker. Alright, with that being said, let's get into what we have today. So, we're going to be throwing out some spoiler warnings here for The Rise of Skywalker, just in case you don't want to know anything else about The Rise of Skywalker, other than the official film promo this has been your spoiler warning all right so with that out of the way let's get into these leaked images so this first leak both of these leaked images i should say come from act three one of them has already been removed from the star wars leaks reddit and all of the other associated star wars reddits for a copyright notice so i wasn't able to actually get a screenshot of that but I'm sure if you dig around hard enough, you can find one. But I don't have it here just because I don't want to get that copyright notice either. All right, so with that being said, let's go to this first image here, which is of Rey and Kylo Ren. Both of these are going to be from Act 3, as I just said. And I have a video about Act 3 specifically, if you want to go check that out before the whole plot leak. But we see here Rey and Kylo Ren, both with blue lightsabers, which matches up with the Jedi Paxus leak and the Making Star Wars leaks that we've gotten thus far and you're gonna notice that Kylo Ren has if you look really closely you're gonna be able to see that Kylo's eyes it looks like he's been beaten and bruised and battered and that also is important because that corroborates with the leaks that we've been getting from Jedi Paxus specifically about Act 3 where Kylo gets his butt kicked and then he just really looks bruised and battered before coming in to try and take on the Emperor with Rey. Now, obviously, Kylo Ren has been notorious in this trilogy for getting his butt kicked rel with relative ease, and that is supposedly not going to change in this movie. Hopefully, that is one of the incorrect parts of the leak, but at this point, it doesn't really seem to be so, considering we do see these bruises here, and we do see both of them with their blue lightsabers. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to this second image here, which I've used the Ralph McQuarrie uh, concept art for Return of the Jedi from 1981, because this is the closest image that I can think of that actually doesn't violate the copyright for it. Um, another one that we could use would be just that screenshot of Rey from the trailer where she's sitting in front of Palpatine's throne, but I thought this would be better because the actual image was Palpatine sitting at his throne, um, it was looked at with Rey in the back, and we saw Palpatine shooting Force Lightning out of his hands uh, into the sky, which corroborates with the other Act 3 leaks from Making Star Wars and Jedi Paxus, where Palpatine is essentially, he's beaten Kylo Ren, and presumably Kylo has died and he's fallen into the abyss, kind of like the way Kylo killed Han in The Force Awakens, where he just falls down the hole, which... Uh, is kind of a crappy ending for Kylo if you're a big Kylo fan like I am but then we have Rey who's standing there who was also supposedly beaten and bruised and just kind of laying on the ground and Palpatine just starts shooting force lightning out of his hands in order to burn like a ton of resistance ships and kind of paralyze them in space so that they're just floating uh, without any power to their ships and then Rey gets up and she distracts Palpatine and then he's forced to re-engage with her. So the, the full leaked image though was just Palpatine shooting lightning out of his fingertips up into the sky with Rey watching. So it must have been right after she got up. And another important thing to take note about that is Jason Ward was asked, the Supreme Leaker himself over at MakingStarWars.net, was asked about it. And he says that this is a real image, which would explain the reason that it was removed by a copyright notice. And so that, that means we can tell that this has actually been leaked. It must have been an actual screenshot from the movie because it, the official, if you go on Reddit and you try and find it, you can go to any of the posts that had it. It'll say removed by Reddit in response to a copyright notice. So even when somebody tried to repost it in the comments, it was still same thing removed by Reddit for a copyright notice. 
so we can't actually we're not gonna, we're gonna be hard pressed to find that actual image but that is what it looked like it looked closest to this Ralph McQuarrie 1981 concept art uh, but these these both of these images I, I was able to see it but I didn't get it I didn't capture it but it does see that these leaks that we keep getting just kind of seem to be falling more and more in line with what we've been seeing from actual film promo thus far. I'll be sure to keep covering this as more unfolds, so if you want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright, but with that being said, that wraps things up for me here in this video. Let me know what you guys think about these leaked images in the concept down below. What do you think of the plot leaks? I'll be sure to link that playlist at the end of this video. So God bless, and may the Force be with you.